welcome back to my channel and today I have a really cute DIY for you some of the items well one thing is coming from the Dollar Tree and the paint is coming from Walmart and uh, but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a sign and it's kind of a farmhouse sign to hang going into my dining room so I'm really excited about it so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this project I just had some plywood left over from a other project and I just cut it so that the um, this wall art here from uh, the stickers from Dollar Tree will fit on it nicely but have a little bit of room. So as long as you cut it the, the width and a little bit wider and a little bit longer than your stickers, you'll be fine. And you can see it's not really thick. And then I just had some wire left over and I punched two holes and just wrap it around itself. I did another project, something similar to this, and I'll list it below. Well, actually, I have two, so I'll list them um, below in the description box. But that's what you'll need. And then, like I showed you, you're going to need one of these um, little stickers. Uh, wall stickers is what they really are. And it's the Serenity Prayer, and I love it. I've always loved it. And I don't think you necessarily have to be going through a rough time in your life to use this. I think it's gorgeous. And then I'm going to be using some paint. Now, I may be using a combination of all three, or I may only use a couple of them. I'm not sure. But here's the Waverly Chalk Paint in Hazelnut. And it's just that really pretty warm color. And then, uh, on all the paints coming from Walmart. And then the Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Warm Buff. I used that on my candle um, hold sticks that I made. And then the Folk Art Metallic Chocolate Brown. I've used that a lot too. I love that color. And then maybe even the Folk Art Metallic Royal Gold. I just think all these colors may be really pretty together. And you're gonna need a well-loved brush, some foam brushes, and I may even use a little sponge that I tore off of a sponge that I had around here, and a plate to put your paint in, and that is it. So let's start making this. I'm so excited. I think it's really gonna be pretty. I think it's gonna give us a nice farmhouse look. So let's put this right here and see what we can come up with. Now all I'm gonna do is just paint this hazelnut on this board all over just like this. So for time purposes, I won't have you watch me because I know you know what I'm doing. So I'll be back once this is all painted, the top, the sides, and down the front. Okay, here it is with just one coat of that hazelnut and I think it turned out beautiful. It just looks like an old piece of wood. I love it. And I don't care if it has little places that you can see through because I want it to look old. And I did the sides. And when I got up here to the top to get underneath that, I just used some Q-tips to get it. And it went right under there and painted that nicely, okay? And then I took a hair dryer and I set it on low, cool, and dried it and then I put it on low warm and dried it and then I went back to the low cool again. Okay, I think this is gonna turn out really, really nice. Now what I think I want to do is take, I mean, you could leave it like this and I think it would be really, really pretty. Um, let me put this down just a little. I think it would be really pretty. But I think what I'm gonna do is take some of this chocolate brown metallic chocolate brown that i love so much <laughs> and put it out and just see what we can do with this kind of like i mean i don't want it real dark because i want this to still show up and i think this would show up on that but i want to give it some some dimension and just i want it to just have a bit more something going on with it. So we're just gonna dry brush, just keep putting it out and then dabbing over here like we've done in the past. 
so that when you put it on, it doesn't go all over at once. But I want to see that rich, rich collar. And I'm really gonna put it a lot down the side and the top because my, my saying is gonna go right down through the middle. And it's kind of hard to see this because we're getting ready to have a rainstorm, so it's really hard to see, and I'm so sorry. Maybe that will help a little bit. But I'm just sort of giving it a little bit of warmth. It's not a whole lot yet. And this is just gonna be basically we're gonna keep building and building to get what we want. And don't forget the very bottom because you don't want it to look like it just went down there and stopped. But I think I'm wanting it around the edges really, really dark and getting lighter towards the center. And like I said, this is such a a subtle look, it's really hard to pick it up, but it is making a big difference. So I'll put a little bit more out, because you could always add two, but it's harder to take off. So you wanna build this up very gradually, because you don't wanna find out, ooh, I just messed it up. That wouldn't be good. All your hard, hard work. bit of something you can this is so hard to see it's so dark in here but you can see at the top where it's getting a lot darker and then at the bottom it just looks like um, it's even hard for me to see okay so we're I think that's what we're gonna do with that now we're gonna go I think to this royal gold, I think. We'll see. We'll put just a little bit of it out and see how this ends up looking because I don't want to ruin it at this point. Let's just see, let's just hit it. And it does add to it. And like I said, I'm just going to put it near on the top. And if you get it on that wire, just wipe it off. But it's really looking pretty. Oh, I'm loving it. It's so pretty. We'll put out a little bit more of this. I don't know whether I'm going to use that warm, warm buff or not. Because we spent all this time trying to um, that's looking pretty it really is let's see oh that that would be pretty I think I'm gonna go back to my metallic chocolate brown just for a little bit and put a little bit more warmth on that and this is so customizable that's another thing I love about doing these kind of projects that you can totally do however you want it whatever you feel that you need for your look and we can't forget the sides because they're going to be seen too 
So just take it down, and it doesn't matter about the back because it's not going to be seen. But you definitely want to be getting and get the top. And kind of just, when I'm doing the top, I'm just brushing over the top of it. And it's giving it a really nice effect, but it's so hard once again to see. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see. I want some more of that dark. Because when you can get it to the light and you look, it looks better. So I'll go off camera and continue because it's so dark you're having trouble seeing anyway. And I'll put this dark on and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's really hard to see, like I said, but I just went ahead and put that on and it just looks like a beautiful piece of, of a plank. Wood. Just took it back in the bathroom and hit it with some um, cool, again, with my uh, hair dryer. Now I'm just going to peel this off. And I think I'm gonna do this in stages and pull it down because I want it to be, let me see, when it's like this, where exactly, because I want it to be, and just, you can measure this if you want, but I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. It's just what I wanted. Now what I'm going to do is go hang it up, and I think you'll be able to see it much better if I hang it up. I don't really think that this is doing it justice at all. So I'm going to go hang it up, and then I'll show you what it looks okay, like. Okay, here it is. I couldn't be happier with it. I love it. And I just put some Dollar Tree flowers up there at the top, but you can see it really just looks warm and inviting and you can still read what that says. I love it, it turned out so nicely. And if you wanted to, you could put a little stencil around the bottom, maybe up to the top, but I just wanted to keep it really simple because I just love how that turned out. It's really pretty. Like I said, it's so customizable to your decor. You can put it any color that you want. But I really think that turned out nicely. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.